Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Raven and I'm a Pilates master teacher trainer. I'm a bar instructor as well as a professional dancer. And I use all of that to create my workouts for Pilates Body Raven. Today I'm gonna to be leading you through just a quick core series based on our Pilates exercises. Um, this is really to tone up your abdominals, to get stronger in your core, stronger in your back. You don't need any props, just your mat and your body and your brain. And let's get started, here we go. Okay, you guys, let's get started. So lying down on your back for chest lift or 100 prep. I lie down in the center of my mat on my back. I want you to take your hands to your belly and just feel how your abdominals connect and your back almost touches the mat. Take one more big deep breath. This is really important for getting deep into your core muscles. Exhale. You wanna keep those knitted abs. Bring your arms up, plug your arms into your back, inhale, exhale, arms down, nod your chin to your chest. Chest lift and lower back down. Do that a few more times there. Use your stomach, not your neck. I'm reaching across the room. My fingertips go past my heels. One more there. Doesn't matter how high you go, just to the tips of your shoulder blades. Whew. Hold here, my pelvis hasn't moved. Hands go behind my head. Curl up an inch from your stomach, down an inch. Up a little, down a little. We've limited our range of motion. I'm already shaky, shaky. I don't know about you. And down. Repeat. And down. Keep it going. Shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. Keep it moving for four. Breathing. Last two here. Last one, best one. Curl up and hold it. I'm feeling my abs really deepen. Pull your tummy down, hold it for five, for four, for three, two, one. Lower down. Oh my gosh, I feel my abs so much. Now arms come up. I want you to bring your right leg to tabletop. Using your abdominals, nothing moves, other leg lifts. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale, push your arms down and curl up. Hold it there. This is our Pilates 100 position. We start pumping our arms. Exhale. Keep it going. Use your belly. Nothing else on my body is moving but my arms. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it. Keep your legs lower, your head, neck, and shoulders. Again, check in with what are your abdominals doing here. Point in your toes, tap one down at a time for toe taps. See how slow I'm going without shifting in my pelvis. A down and a up. Keeping my spine and ribs really, really still. That's the hard part. And down. Now both legs, flex feet, tap both heels. Notice I've got to limit my range of motion now. Maybe I don't tap all the way down. As long as I'm keeping my spine still. Oh yeah, 
I'm really feeling the motion in the ocean. My abdominals are turning on so strong. Almost done for three. For two. One more here. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock your lower back side to side. A lot of uh, abdominal stuff laying on your back can sometimes be a little bit too much pressure for some people. So let's flip over in that case for some bird dogs. We're on all fours. You wanna make sure you've got a long spine right here from your head to your toes. Now without shifting in your spine, just pick up your right hand. Did you notice how you shifted your weight? Put it down, try the other side. Without moving, just pick up your hand. Woo, I feel it. Put it back down. Now pick up one knee. Whoa, what happened? Lower it down. Try the other side. Just pick it up from your stomach. Ooh, lower it down. Now can we add on? Pick up your right hand and your left knee. Boop, whoa, balance, hello. Lower it down, try the other side. Just pick everything up. It's coming from here. Lower it down one more time like that. This looks really easy, right? It's actually so hard to stabilize in your core. And down last time. Pick it up and lower it down. Now find your hands back under your shoulders. Extend one arm forward and extend the opposite leg back behind you and hold there. Can we lower our arm and our leg down? Little tap down and little lift up. Use your abdominals, little tap down. Little lift up, keep it going. Lower and lift, not again. <laughs> lower and lift, one more. Now we hold everything up. Can you open your arm and your leg out to the sides a little? And right back in, woo. Keep your range of motion small, two more times there. Open a little, close a little. Last one, open a little, use your abdominals. Close a little and hold it for three, two, one. Lower everything down. Woo, I really feel it. Here we go, let's go for the other side. Pick up opposite hand as leg and shoot it out. Now tap everything down, lift everything up. Lower a little and lift, hello. Down, work everything together. Okay. <laughs> now hold, can we open arm out to the side an inch, leg out to the side an inch? Close it in. Yes, ma'am. Do it again. Woo, no wiggle wobbles. Open a little. Close the door. Two more. Yes, okay. Last time, try to keep your leg up. Close everything in and lower down. Sit your hips back and shake out your arms and let's flip over onto your bottom for hip circles. This is one of my favorite ones. So. Lower yourself down onto your elbows. Your chest is lifted, your abs are in and up. You're trying to pull your heart up on a string, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Now can right leg come to tabletop and then left. Boop, hold it there. Now without moving upper body, both legs go over to one side and then we bring it up. Try the other side. It's like a tick-tocking motion, over and up. Now let's add on. We go over, stretch legs, bend legs, back to center. Woo, other side, over. Stretch legs, bend legs, use your belly. And center the hard part here, keep going, is to keep your legs together, to keep your abs in and up, and to work your legs from your stomach. If you need to modify, you can lie down and do this on your back. Over, up, Woo. You'll feel your sides turn on, your obliques. Give me one more time each side, this is real hard. Stretch, pull. 
One more. And stretch, bend, bring it to the center and lower everything down. Roll your legs side to side a little. Now remember that rotation as we lie down now for crisscross. Move your body. Hands go back behind your head and legs come to tabletop one at a time. This shape looks pretty familiar, right? Curl up, left leg out, rotate upper body, opposite elbow to knee and hold. <sighs> legs through the center, other side. <sighs> and hold, keep going. Use your abdominals. And in. <sighs> and twist and in keep it going and twist are you breathing now let's pick up our tempo here it is uh over stretch through the legs move the ribs are you breathing let's go a three a two and one, bring it in. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but my abs are on fire. <laughs> Okie dokie, teaser time. Take your legs down. You wanna extend your right leg long, squeezing your legs together. Now take your hands behind your thighs, lift your chin to your chest. Using your arms, walk yourself up, all the way up to behind your knees and then walk yourself down without moving your legs. Try that one more time. Chin to chest, walk yourself up and hold it. Now can you balance with both legs? Squeeze them together. Now put the other foot down. Here we go, walk your hands down, squeeze your legs together. This side might feel a little harder. Abs are in and up. Walk yourself up. Oh, pull yourself up there. See how I get high on my sits bones? One more. Melt your spine down, articulating. Roll back up. Hands behind legs. And straighten, hold. Now can you keep your legs there? Can you reach your arms? Can you lower your legs and the rest of your body in one piece? Whew. Stretch your arms back behind you. Now let's try it all together. Head up, heels up, lift, teaser. Melt down, keep reaching. Arms back, abs in, use your whole body and your breath. Last two, point through your ankles, toes. Melt down. Last one here. It's coming from this connection. Lift and hold it for three, two, one. Legs go down, fold over. Give yourself a little stretch for three, two. Okay, last thing, roll yourself up. We've got our planking, my favorite. Planking is great because it's really full body. We're getting our arms, our legs, and definitely our abs. So my elbows go down right underneath my shoulders. I step my right leg back and then my left leg back. And I hold my body still in a plank. Now when you're ready, can you hover one foot up? Just hold and put it down and then try the other side. Just hold, keep alternating there very slowly. Modification, just hold still. You can also plank with your hands up against a wall. If this doesn't work for you today, that'll be a good modification. Keep marching, last two. One more, and lower your knees down, take a little break. Woo, I am feeling Hot. <laughs> Let's amp up the volume on those. Right back out, plank position. Now you tap one toe, lift, tap it open, bring it in. Other side, lift, tap it open, bring it in. 
Going slowly and breathing. Out, down, and out, down. Keep using your abdominals. Reach, pull, breathing. Out and in, almost there. For two. Last set, hold it in and freeze. For three, two, one. Lower it down. Whew. Now last thing, come on to your hands. We take our toes back, hands under shoulders, reach your legs long. We're in another plank right here. Just hold. Now lift your hips, push your heels down, open the backs of your legs. You wanna lift your booty up on a string, then massage your spine forward. Lift your chest, little bit of extension, almost like a yoga upward dog. And do it again. Hips up, heels down, feel a nice stretch. And then melt your spine forward. Lift your chest, feel a little stretch here. Last one. Hips up, head down. Melt your spine forward, lift your chest, hold it, three, two, one. Lower your heels, sit yourself back. And roll yourself up. All right, you guys, that's some of my favorite, just quick core engaging exercises. I hope you like those. You'll be able to find a lot more workouts over on my website, PilatesBodyRaven.com. But if you liked this video today, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you guys later on the mat. Bye. Meow.